What's going on everyone? Welcome to Tim Reviews Everything. Right, guys, today I'm going to be reviewing another Harbor Freight item. I've had this thing for over a year. I actually have two of these four jacks. Uh, I have an orange one and I have a blue one. I got two of them because when they were on sale they were really cheap. I paid $120 a piece for these things. And guys, you do not have to go out and spend three, four hundred dollars on a floor jack to have a really good jack around the house. So if you're changing brakes, rotors, uh, you know, doing your own oil changes, uh, rotating tires, if you're doing stuff of that nature and you have one of those little cheesy things you get from the local auto parts store and it takes you like 10 years to jack up your car and it don't even jack it up high enough, uh, yeah, I, I would uh, ditch that. And right now, guys, these things are actually around $150 at Harbor Freight. But I always tell you guys to go look for those uh, coupons. They are always having coupons uh, for some type of percent off, 20% off, 25% off. So definitely always check for coupons before you get a Harbor Freight and you're spending over $100. Uh, so today I'm going to show you the three ton low profile jack. It's going to be a quick video. I'm just going to jack up my car real quick and show you how easy it jacks it up. All right, guys. So here's the jack right here. I have already got it set under my car. So we're going to see how many pumps it takes to get this car up. Let me get it up. I'm just going to set it there for a second, right? Let me double check it just to make sure we're good. Yeah, we're good. Okay, here we go. That's one, two, three, four, five. I'm off the ground at six pumps. That tire is just off the ground. And that's plenty of off the ground you need for seven pumps, you know, to change your tire. And obviously, guys, this will go up a lot higher. Uh, but these jacks are very nice to have. My local mechanic shop has this jack. They have a bunch of these floor jacks. And they, uh, they've had them for quite some time. So I know they get daily use in their shop. But we'll put this all the way up. So you see how far it goes up. I mean, it gets pretty high, guys. So if you have a truck, you can, I mean, I, I use this on the Hummer, too. So it gets pretty high. Three-ton low-profile jack. And that's it, guys. Something simple and beautiful to have if you do your own work on your cars for a lot of the stuff. So there is the three-ton low-profile jack. And as you can see, guys, also they have a cushion down here so you're not damaging your car. Uh, I don't know if you can see it back there, but there's my orange one. So I got two of these. Why do I have two of these? Because it just makes it so much simpler. Uh, not only were they on sale, but it makes it life so much easier whenever I'm changing the tires on the uh, Hummer, uh, you know, just to use both of them at the same time. So that's it for today, guys. Just a quick review. I uh, love them. Like I said, my local mechanic shop has them and they beat the crap out of them. They use them daily, uh, probably 50 times a day, you know, so they've had them for quite some time and, uh, you know, they got them in their shop. I'd say they're pretty... Uh, you know, they're going to hold up to the years of using them, especially just for home use. Uh, so, guys, this is the uh, picture of the low profile with a, an extended breech. You know, if you want to get that one, it's a little bit more expensive. And then this is just your regular one that does not have the low profile. If you guys don't need the low profile, don't go for it. I just thought it would be easier because with cars, it's, you know, you don't want to be banging up the side of your car with that arm coming up. So... Uh, yeah, I, I would go for the low profile if you got cars, but if you just have a truck, then you could just go for the uh, higher one. But I got a couple cars too I got to take care of. So, guys, that's it for today. Uh, I really appreciate it. I see, I've been, you know, I, been doing some yard work and stuff like that around the house, so I haven't been uh, posting as much lately, but I have been seeing the new subscribers and the comments, and I really appreciate you guys interacting, and I really appreciate the new subscribers to the channel. If you guys could share my content, give me a like, thumbs up, you know, guys, comment on the product. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.